at liftoff. The global space race is heating up. The USA, China, Japan and Russia are facing fresh competition. Australia wants a piece of the pie and now has its feet firmly under the table. I've come to the National Space Industry Hub at Cicada Innovations in Sydney where they're engineering the future of the nation's space sector. Hello. And I'm being greeted by one of its members. <laughs> Good little rover. Good. Oh, steady. The R1 is being developed to help astronauts stay in space for longer. People are really fragile. We're 80% water, we need oxygen, we need, we're these pesky kind of wet bags of fluid. A better way to explore and run things in space where you can is with robots. And so I see a future where there's thousands of robots uh, on the moon, in asteroids, in space, helping us gather resources and helping with that next wave of exploration. First things first, time to put my driving skills to the test. <laughs> the power is now in my hands. Let's take it for a spin. So if I do this, oh, there we go. <laughs> There's ice uh, that's underneath the surface of the moon. And, um, you know, we're, we're going back to kind of explore that, try and use the water, use the oxygen that's on the moon, and enable people to stay there for longer and do uh, scientific and, and resource exploration. Yeah, and then, oh yes. You ready to drive on the moon now? Oh yeah, <laughs> next stop space, let's go. <laughs> Mawson is just one of several space startups based here. 136 companies have been supported, they've raised over 190 million in capital, but the more exciting thing is they've raised over 197 million in revenue, which means that they're actually servicing customers. It's a good customers. bit of pocket change, isn't it? Exactly. In the same way that we have land, sea and air, space opens up a whole new domain to create a whole host of different technologies. And so recognising that we can either be a taker or a maker in that race. The Australian government wants to see Australian companies developing sovereign capabilities in these new markets. One startup working on new capabilities is Crest. Here we've got Charlotte. Oh, massive spider! That's right. You know, you walk into a robotics office in Australia, what are you going to get? Spider bigger than you are. <laughs> Classic. And what Charlotte is meant to do is both sustainable construction here on Earth, but also on the lunar surface where we need roads, shelters and berms to protect equipment and supplies uh, because we want to set up permanent presence on yeah. the moon. And what it'll do is it'll straddle the walls of a building as it 3D prints uh, the main structure. Instead of a large gantry structure, we have a small, highly deployable robot that can jump itself off a truck uh, and start navigating the construction site to, to 3D print walls. I think my wife would have a heart attack if she saw the size <laughs> of that spider right Just there. wait till we build it three times bigger. <laughs> oh really? The Australian space industry is, is going gangbusters at the moment. It's rocket companies, it's robotics companies, it's satellite companies. We've got, we've got the whole gamut of the space industry here now in Australia, which five years ago we, we had basically nothing. Space robots aren't new. NASA deployed its first rover almost 30 years ago. But its most recent scheduled for the moon has so far cost the administration half a billion dollars. So what's changed? We do a lot of the machine work and, and development in-house and then we go through the same rigorous process of testing to get stuff ready for space uh, but we can do it at a fraction of the cost of what, what NASA typically has done. And it doesn't matter if a few of them break, we'll send up another one. The bots being built here are not only destined for space, parts of them are proving useful on terra firma right now. The mining industry is looking really heavily at automation. Uh, we've talked to them about how we can use rovers to do mining more sustainably and, and more safely. One of our partners is, a, is another space and, and exploration company called Fleet Space, uh, who are based in Adelaide. And um, they make these amazing sensors that uh, can work out what's under the ground without drilling holes. And their sensors pick up mini earthquakes and they work out, based on the speed of those waves moving through the surface, uh, what what's under the ground? Is it a copper deposit? Is it some uh, lithium that we need for making uh, batteries for EVs? And they can do all that uh, without drilling holes. For Matt, resources we need on Earth could be better found in space. Instead of destroying the planet that we're on, you know, we can find the resources on asteroids in space where the mining won't, won't destroy any, any life or any environment. And this could all come together sooner than later. The Australian Space Agency-backed Rover robot is confirmed to launch with NASA to the moon within the next two years.